Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to another video, and today I will be doing a review of the Phelon FX067C, as you can see here. Now, I didn't originally think it was Phelon, but um, it says Phelon on the box up there, so obviously it's a Phelon brand. And now this is a fairly large um, four-channel helicopter, and it is single rotor, so it's not coaxial, which means it only has one set of blades. And it is fly barless, so there's no fly bar on it, which is the metal rod that usually spins around, which kind of acts as an auto gyro. So this one does not have that, and that's because it has an onboard gyro. Um, let's see what it comes with. You get a bag of spare props or spare blades here. Um, it's open at both ends, so it's kind of hard to show it. But there's a spare tail prop there and two main blades, so full set. And you also get two zip ties. Now, I didn't know what those were for at first, but the battery is actually zip tied in there. And it says something about the instruction, or at least the diagram looks like that they want you to remove the battery every time. Like, cut that and take it out to charge it. But there's, you can fit it, um, you can get the charger under here without taking it out. So that's really kind of pointless, but I guess if the zip ties break, that's nice. Um, it comes with two instruction manuals. One, really, that's all about charging the battery there. Um, that's the one. You see the zip tie right there, it's talking about replacing that every time, but and then this one that um, is other stuff about the helicopter. Um, it's in English, but you know, not really good at all. And then on the back, it's like double or triple printed over other things, so you can't even read it at all. So it's pretty bad manual, I mean, you don't really need to look at it at all. And it comes with a wall charger here. And now this one is one with the Euro plug, as you can see there. So you need a U.S. adapter. But I'm pretty sure Banggood sent me one. Um, they wrap it in the package if they see they're in the U.S. Um, so, but if not, just put it in the seller notes. Um, but even if they don't include it, they're pretty common. And also, they're very cheap to buy a set of them. And now this charger goes to um, over here to the um, balance plug. And it's a 2S balance plug, which it charges from. And the output on the charger is 800 milliamp hours. So as you can see there, 800 milliamps. Um, and now here is the remote that comes with it. Um, pretty nice, shiny looking remote. Um, actually, I thought it was supposed to come with on the Banggood site where I bought it. It was $90 from the, the their US warehouse. Um, it showed it um, having a Devo transmitter. But as you can see up here, it kind of looks like they stole the Devo um, design like the letters but it says transmitter um, but I thought it came with a Devo but I guess not so this isn't nearly as good and the antenna up here is fake there's nothing going into it focus there's no antenna up there so that's fake um, the transmitter on the back it has this um, little switch thing here and that switches it from mode 1 to mode 2 so it moves um, the throttle from the right stick and then you switch it now the throttle is on the left stick that's nice and the throttle does have, let me, you can hear it, it does have a slight ratchet, but very, very little ratchet, but does let you be pretty precise if you want to set your throttle. Um, let's see, you do have your four digital trims there, they all work. Let's turn it on here, and now to bind it, you need to turn the helicopter on first, then do that, and it'll beep, and then it'll bind. As you can see here, you have an LCD um, display here that shows your battery voltage in the, um, in the remote that's not the helicopter and then you have your mode 2 and then this button over here this one on the right is fake here but this one that says convert button if you press that it'll go 2 to 4 and if you switch it back on the back to switch the throttle if you use that switch then you press it it'll go 1 to 3 so that's pretty nice and then over here you click this one and you can hear it beep um, once and twice and that's low and high rates and that's 75 and 100 percent rates and now the sticks are metal and they're pretty nice they're pretty smooth not the best but you know, not too bad there. Um, let's see. My right stick's actually um, sticking a little bit there. Um, now the helicopter here, it's um, most the middle part of it is mostly metal. Um, the tail, the t the boom here is metal, but other um, this boom here along here is metal. Everything else is plastic, really. And um, it has these the horizontal these stabilizers here. They they're kind of like a fake gold carbon fiber, but they're in no way carbon fiber as you can see they're just really bendy plastic so kind of pointless there um, in the back you have your tail motor which is brushed and then it's um, to the gear right there so that drives your tail prop and the wires must run along the boom here and come out 
And then in the back here, it's kind of hard since it's really big to show it, um, there's your two servos, they're mounted right there, and they are easily replaceable. And full, sp full spare parts are available on Banggood. I looked, um, pretty much every part in this is available. And then take the canopy off here, it has two latches. Um, that one's hard to get there. Two latches there, and then there's one little clip on the bottom. So take that off. And this is actually a pretty nice canopy. It's green and it says Accipiter there. I don't know why. Um, it says high speed, but it's pretty nice um, thick plastic. I've never had any damages to it. So a pretty nice canopy there. Um, and now you can see the internals of the hel helicopter underneath here. So you can see you have your brushed motor right there. It's not brushless, it's only brushed. And I believe that's about a 370 size because it looks similar to my Dromeda MT 4.18 motor size. So about a 370. You can see the wires running back to the um, servos there. And as you can see, this main gear here is very big. It's probably like, I don't know, three inches in diameter, but it's very big. So these, and these props are huge and the, they're actually spinning quite slowly. So this thing has a lot of lifting power, but not much punch overall. Like it's very slow ascending unit full throttle. Um, and up here, you have your main control board and everything, including um, the servos there are plug and play. And it's like you could actually add two more, so you could probably do some other things with this if you want to DIY. Everything else is plug and play. The plugs are actually, they have glue on them there, so it's good and bad. Good for durability because it'll keep vibration from moving them, but also bad because it'd be hard to replace them. And the board here is mounted on some foam. So nice and um, vibration resistant, and then the 2.4 gigahertz antenna is right there. And underneath it mounted is the battery, and now it is a 2S 1500 milliamp hour battery. So a 7.4 volt, 1.5 amp battery, and that's pretty nice. And you can slide it forward and backwards, and I found that you know, a little bit, um, that if you slide it farther forwards, I've been having better results, so that's nice. Um, and now the plug it comes with, I believe, is called the Micro Tamiya, or Micro Tamiya there. Because it, um, I had one of those on my hobby grade charger, and it's a fairly common plug, so that's nice. And then here's the other end. And to charge it, you just plug into the balance port here. Um, but other than that, oh yeah, there's an on-off switch over here on this side, so that's nice. Very easily accessible with the canopy on. Um, but other than that, it's pretty simple. I mean, it's a decent helicopter. And now from the from the charger here, um, it takes about two and a half hours to charge, and it just has a little light on here. Um, it's not too reliable. I mean, it took about two and a half hours to get it fully charged, and I checked it with my hobby grade charger, and it wasn't too far off from full. But and you get about ten minutes of flight time, so pretty nice flight times. But there's no like low battery warning. It just kind of slowly goes down, but you'll notice when it's getting low. Um, let's see, this one even though it doesn't have a fly bar. This one flies really weird, like if, it's kind of like a, on a quad, like if it has like a wind bug, like if you pitch forward, it'll slowly level out and then even go backwards a little bit. So if you let go on the stick of your forward pitch and then it'll go, and then it'll level itself out and then you pitch again and it'll pitch like that much, so it has really deep pitch but just won't hold it and it kind of like acts like it has a fly bar, like it kind of like swoops around, like it's really weird, <laughs> it flies just like my... WL Toys V912 did with a fly bar, but this one doesn't even so the gyro on it um, The six axis gyro must be programmed wrong or something I don't know, but it just flies really weird for not having a fly bar But you know, it's not too bad, but I found that you kind of always have to be um, Not just pitching forward but banking because if you're always banking it'll hold it and it'll do really nice Fast tight turns, but you kind of always have to be turning which is kind of a disappointment um, but I haven't had any r issues with the range on this, but once you start getting far away, you can, like, because if you're just holding forward pitch, it'll start to level out, so it's kind of weird. You kind of have to, like, serpentine back and forth, but, you know, it's not too bad. Um, so overall, it's a pretty decent helicopter. Like I said, I bought it for um, $90 from Banggood in their U.S. warehouse, and I'm pretty happy with it. Um, I wish it didn't fly like it did um, with the accelerometer problem. I wish it, I wish it would hold its pitch. Like it should, but you know, that's not too bad of an issue because I fly close in mainly, so it's not too bad for me to always be turning. And it definitely does look pretty cool. It's a very large helicopter. Um, so that was my review, and now let's check out some flight footage. Okay, here we are for the flight of the Phalon FX067C. As you can see, I have it outside here. Um, pretty big area, and it's a big four channel helicopter brushed. Um, set it down here, and I'll take off. And now it's the, the gearing is so big, and the blades are so big. That it doesn't take much RPM 
to get it off. Whoops. Okay, set it down here. Now the gearing and blades are so big it doesn't take much RPM to get off the ground. You can see there. Now it's pretty loud with that, the tail motor actually makes almost all the noise. Um, I'll just fly it around here and get it close up for you so you can see it. Drifting backwards quite a bit. Um, but as you can see, it looks pretty cool. Actually, um, looks fairly realistic. It's pretty big. Um, so that's good enough. And now, this one's super weird. It doesn't have a fly bar, but it, it's programmed and it flies like it does. Like, see, that's still full pitch. That's full pitch forward, and you can see it's actually going backwards. But if I turn, you can see it, and then it goes in a pitch. Like, it won't... It's like it has a wind bug, like the gyro. I don't know, it just won't hold pitch, so you kind of have to always be making turns and go around. And now what's the thing that's really cool, I think, is since it's so large, I don't think you'll be able to hear, but the props, the main blades actually make a, like, a noise that sounds like a real helicopter. And now let me uh, let it level back out. You can see I'm still, now here's the uh, full yaw that it has. So as you can see, pretty decent yaw. Definitely fast enough for something this big. See, it looks awesome. Pretty big. You could probably carry a camera, but it'd probably have tons of jello, so there's not really any point. And you get about 10 minutes of flight time, so that's pretty good. And that's still full pitch forward, so it kind of like leans backwards. I'm still, it's still full pitch forward. You can see it's coming backwards. I let go, and then it'll like recenter. I'm still letting go, and then I pitch. So it's, and that's still full pitch forward, so you kind of have to always be turning. And it's just really weird, but once you get used to it, you can kind of fly it around. It just, I think it's really stupid how it, um, it's still full pitch forward. How it acts like it has a fly bar, even though it doesn't. So you just kind of have to make small turns. Um, now here is a funnel. You can see, pretty cool. Now it doesn't have a lot of power, but... Um, there's a down funnel. Put the tail down for a funnel. There we go. Ooh, really coming towards me. It's getting a little dark out right now. And as you can see, it's pretty fast. It's just really weird. Like, it's hard to explain it. Like, I'm always, I'm still full pitch. Like, pretty much never let off pitch. And it just kind of pitches and swings back. So hopefully you'll be able to understand and see what I mean. Ooh, you just have to get used to it, I guess, but it still flies pretty well, and it's definitely a lot of fun. Nice long flight times, like I said, 10 minutes. It's got a decent amount of power, but it's just got huge gearing, so there's not really any punch to it, but, um, you know, it, it's enough for the job. And there's um, full, sports, full spare parts available on Banggood. Um, where I bought it. It was $90 when I bought it. And I got it from the US warehouse. So, free shipping. I believe shipping um, from China is like 20 bucks because it's such a huge box. So, if you're in the US, definitely get it from the US warehouse. Um, but as you can see, it flies pretty well. Try and do a nose down funnel. You can see there, getting away. Let me try and take it over here just a little. Ah, that pitch thing, I'm still full pitch. Okay, so here's the funnel. As you can see there, pretty cool. <laughs> it's quite a big helicopter, so you definitely have to be careful because you could hurt someone with it. it. Weighs quite a bit more than all the other things. And if you crash, it's going to not be as forgiving as the little quads. Uh, I think that was good enough, so let's bring it in for a landing here. Okay, so there we go. As it gets really dark out, of course. 
Um, so there we go. That was my review of the Phelan FX067C. Um, a big four-channel brushed helicopter. As you can see, that main gear in there is just massive. Um, pretty good. I mean, it's it's nice and solid. It's pretty much all metal, um, metal and plastic. Um, gets good flight time, and it has a good rate, but it just doesn't hold them. Like if I pitch forward and hold it, it'll just go out and then gradually go back, so you have to let go. Then it'll recenter. It's just really weird because it flies like a helicopter. It has a fly bar. But yet it doesn't. So the gy and it has a six-axis gyro in there. So I'm not really sure what's going on there. But um, so there we go. That was my review. And please subscribe if you weren't already. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.